1030 here on KLFD AM 1410 and FM 95.9. Vibrant U is on the air. Yeah, welcome to Vibrant U uh, Live. This is um, Nathan Johnson. And I'm Bo Johnson. And we're here to talk to you about you know, Vibrant Broadband, all things internet, and more. Yeah, and you know, we started Vibrant U because we wanted to uh, answer questions that we get on a day-to-day basis about uh, the internet, um, all things that you can do with it, whether that's streaming, TV, music, uh, smart home products, you know, a whole, a whole lot more than that, too. Yeah, and last week we talked about, you know, streaming. We talked about streaming video on your TV, the different devices you can use to do that, uh, the advantages to streaming and all that stuff. This week, we're going to focus more on uh, smart home, smart home products, what those products are, kind of what they do, and, and, you know, how they can benefit your home. Yeah, no, we get a question, you know, day to day, um, what is a smart home? What makes your home a smart home? And, you know, the idea of having a smart home actually dates back to uh, 1970. So in 1975, um, you know, they actually were getting automated systems in people's homes with their electrical wiring. So uh, having a smart home is not as uh, recent as an idea as most people think. Yeah. And basically, when you hear the word smart on, on a device, you're at a store and you see something that says smart on it. Uh, typically, what that means is it can connect to the internet. And when you you connect a device to the internet, it gives you more functionality than you typically get. You can control things remotely when you're away from home. You can set stuff to, to be automated and, and do stuff in the background without you having to do it manually. So that's typically what you mean when you see the word smart on a product. Yeah. And, you know, the most popular smart home device that, you know, people have is smart TVs. You know, those are the TVs that when you, uh, you know, plug them in, you can actually connect them to the internet as well. Um, and that's what a lot of people have in their home. Many people don't even know their TV is a smart TV. So you, you may already have a smart home and not realize it. Yeah. And you may not use the functionality of that. You may plug in a Roku device, which is also a smart device and not even use the smart TVs part. But that's probably the most common product that people think of when they hear the word smart product or something they may already own at their home. Um, besides smart TV, there's a whole lot of devices. You know, we'll kind of talk about some of the different devices. Probably the next most common one is a smart thermostat. A lot of people these days have smart thermostats. Um, you know, people travel away from home. People who have a cabin, you know, want to monitor their temperature or, rem- or control it remotely, becoming very, very popular. You can set it, you know, t- on timers. You can set schedules when you're away from home. You can set a alerts. So if you're traveling or you're not at home and, and your temperature drops a certain temp, you know, you can get alerted, you know, here in Minnesota this time of year, we have to worry about freezing pipes and freezing houses and all that stuff. So mm-hmm. a smart thermostat's becoming very, very popular. Yeah. And I talked to a lot of people that uh, they don't have a smart thermostat and they're like, yeah, when I'm gone, I just kind of rely on my neighbor to come over yeah. and, and make sure that the pipes don't freeze. <laughs> and, you know, now you don't have to, I mean, neighbors are great, but sometimes they're not the most reliable. <laughs> not so. everybody gets along with their neighbors. <laughs> yeah. So. The neighbor might be like, oh, it's fine. And you get back and maybe, maybe it isn't. So it just, it gives you a little more peace of mind. Uh, another device is like a video uh, doorbell. So like a ring doorbell is a popular brand. You know, that way you have, um, you know, a video monitoring system. You can look right on your phone, see who's at the door. You can um, speak to them. It's a, a delivery. You can let them know, you know, where to leave the package. Um, so it's something that just gives you access to something that's right in your pocket at all times, and you don't even have to be home for it. Yeah, and, you know, that's becoming popular, like like Bo mentioned. If you're not home, but you can, you know, pretend to be home, you, you can answer and say, you know, I can't come to the door right now, but you can leave something there. It just adds people's, sent, you know, peace of mind, lets them know, you know, who came to the door, why, all that stuff. Another popular one, or uh, there's a lot of outlets now that are smart outlet smart uh, plugs basically so you can plug a lamp into a smart plug and then you can set that lamp on a timer you can control it remotely if you're traveling a lot of people like to leave lights on uh, you know when they're traveling you know so it gives the idea someone's home so if you say well i forgot to turn my light on you can go on your smartphone you know turn your lamp on at home even if you're across the country all you need is an internet connection yeah, I mean, the smart light bulbs are becoming more and more popular. You'll see if you go into someone's house, they say, hey, turn the living room lights on. It's something that's automated. You can control it how you want to. I know you can do different colors. You can do different settings. It's you know very easy to use. You don't have to walk around the home, use the light switches. These are all something you can control the palm of your hand. Yeah, another most popular one that Randy here himself said that he has was a lot of um, you know smart speakers like audio. You know, a lot of people here heard of Alexa devices mm-hmm. by Amazon. They're Echo Dots or 
Google has their Google Home devices. Apple has their you know Home Pods and more. These are great devices you can speak to. They're all hands free for the most part. Tell them to play music. Start timers. Like Bo mentioned, you can hey turn the lights on. Uh, Alexa, you know play the show, play a song. A lot of cool stuff you can do with those devices. That are a lot of people have those. Use them for some functionality. Some of them use it for everything. The options are kind of endless with those. Yeah, what's really cool is you can actually I mean with your Amazon Alexa you can order your your groceries on you know anything. Thing just with your voice. Um, so I, I have a friend of mine, the, their little three-year-old, I accidentally ordered a few things uh, <laughs> by herself. That's always a possibility. <laughs> so if you get something in the mail, you're not sure what happened, you know, yeah. it's probably the kid's fault. And, you know, it's, it's obviously it's easy to use if, they, if a three-year-old can do it. You yeah. know, anyone can. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of people now are getting into the, the smart vacuums. You know, Roomba is a popular brand. There, there are vacuums you can set, you know, to do certain rooms at certain times. You can put uh, location limits so a vacuum stays in a room and doesn't go to another room. You can do all kinds of automation now with vacuums, hands-free. You don't even have to do it. You can do it when you're away from home, when you're sleeping, all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, my uh, my friend has one of those, and uh, we were talking. He's like, oh, got a notification. My uh, my Roomba is stuck. It, it even lets you know <laughs> yeah. if they're not doing a great job cleaning it, they get stuck <laughs> on a ledge, you know, you'll get a notification so you can control that from, from start to finish. Yeah, and so... You know, we mentioned some of the most popular ones, but essentially any appliance or technology in your home nowadays can be a smart product. And, you know, you can do dishwashers, you can do laundry machines. I, me and my wife got a fridge this year. I didn't even know till it was set up and installed. I realize I can connect it to my Wi-Fi. I can control the temperature when I'm away from home. I can view the temperature. Um, I don't really use that functionality very much, <laughs> but it is there, and it's nice to have. I did get a notification that one of my uh, water filter needs to be exchanged on my oh, phone. Okay. There's some there's some cool uses. There's some fridges that have a um, a camera inside where you can see what groceries you have in yeah. your fridge if you're at the store. It's it's the technology is pretty incredible. I even. We, we, you know, my wife and I had a baby recently. We have a, f- a baby bottle formula maker that is smart. And if I, if the baby wakes up in the middle of the night, I can click on my phone, you know, start making a bottle, grab the baby. When I get downstairs, the bottle's sitting there ready to go. It's pretty incredible what you can do with automation okay. these days. Now I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Times have changed a little they bit. They really have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's, I mean, it's perfect time to do it, too, because it's a holiday season. You got more lights than normal. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to worry about manually plugging them, unplugging sure. them. You can set timers for it. So, you know, now more than ever, it's, it's a time to maybe start looking into it. Yeah. And besides all the stuff we talked about that are more convenience products, project, or products, um, the security features you can have these days, you know, sure. you can get cameras are very, very popular now. You used to have to hardwire all your cameras to a box that did recorded it, mm-hmm. and then you'd have to view the recordings later. Now you can get cameras that are battery powered, completely wireless. They connect to your internet. You can view them from anywhere. You can get notifications if there's a uh, someone that walks by the camera, all kinds of cool stuff. You can do door sensors. The smart locks are becoming pretty popular too. Yeah. So if you have family members that are coming way too early for the holidays, you can decide whether or not you want to unlock the door form or not. <laughs> Even if so, you're not home. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, garage endless. door opener is another cool one. Um, you know, I don't know if anyone's like me and my wife, we, whenever we leave town or something, it's it, it happens every time we get about a mile down the road, she turns to me and says, did you shut the garage door? <laughs> and I, I can be 99% sure I did, yep. but that 1% will make me turn around and go back and check. So a smart garage opener, you can view if it's open, you can see if it's closed, you can open or close it remotely. Uh, it's pretty crazy what you can do. You don't have to throw the red flag at that point, do you? <laughs> no. no. No challenge. <laughs> no challenge flag. If I, I just, this happened the other day. I said, I am 99% sure. And she said, it's not 100. <laughs> and I turned around and we went back. So yeah, I bet. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, all of these devices, they, uh, they have one thing in common. And they require internet. They require a solid connection. You know, and with Vibrant, you know, we know that that connection is going to be something that you're not going to have to worry about. Um, you know, we touched, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago on the types of internet. Um, you know, you have older technology that, you know, it wasn't meant to, to run all these devices. You know, yeah. with, uh, with newer internet, with fiber internet, you're not going to have to have any issue with, you know, being able to have enough, you know, bandwidth to keep all these devices going. Yeah, I mean, the more devices, you add to your home, the more devices that are connected to your internet, generally the better internet you're going to need, the more bandwidth, the more speed you're going to need. Mm-hmm. And like I said, that's where Vibrant comes in. You know, we offer the fastest connection, the most bandwidth. I mean, there is essentially no limitation to the to the stuff you can add to your house now. And we, you know, Vibrant can support all of that with our service. 
Yeah, and the you know range of Wi-Fi is uh, another thing. A lot of people just have to have you know back in the day, just their living room is kind of where I use the internet. Now you know your living room is extended all the way out to your basement, your attic, your security your systems garage. outdoors, yeah. your garage. It may be attached, maybe not attached. So you're going to have to make sure you know, and we help with that is making sure you have a whole home system that's connecting all the devices that you have, not just your you know your main inside devices. Yeah, it's not uncommon for people to be used to. Well, my Wi-Fi router sits in the basement in my utility closet. I don't have to see it, which was fine for a while. Yeah. But now you got devices all over the house and, and Wi-Fi range becomes an issue. We, you know, we, we really recommend a mesh Wi-Fi system. And what that means is you have your main router located generally central center of the house somewhere but then you have these additional units you put at different corners of the house and what that does is it expands that wi-fi coverage and makes a, a much larger network so you should be able to get wi-fi throughout your house oftentimes outside your house you know where some of those outside cameras might be or your doorbell might be um, a mesh system is really going to be the best way to get everything connected yeah yeah and i know we you know we touch on all these topics you know so if you have additional questions on these or if you have an idea for an entirely new topic and we feel free to email us. Um, you can do that at vibrantulive at meeker.coop. So that's vibrant to the letter U, L-I-V-E at meeker.coop. Yeah, we're always getting questions from people. You know, can I learn more about this? Tell me about this. If you have questions about internet products, about Vibrant, absolutely use that email. We'd love to talk about it here or give you a call even or discuss, you know, kind of help explain. That's kind of what Vibrant U is for is really to educate people and help people use the, you know, the stuff that's available to them. Uh, the other option, too, is obviously give us a call. If, if you have questions, if you're interested in Vibrant, um, give us a call. Our number is 320 693 Three two three one. Um, you know, it's winter now. People think the ground freezes. Oh, I can't probably get internet installed. I'll wait till spring. I'll wait till summer. No, we we are installing year round. Winter. We, we we find ways to get people connected. Unfortunately, we live in Minnesota. It's winter a lot, <laughs> and usually that means you're inside and and more. You're using more internet in the winter than you are the rest of the year. Yeah. So if you're needing better internet, don't wait because you're going to need it now more than ever. Yeah, and one of the things that people will be doing indoors is streaming. And, you know, if you have questions on that, you know, we have our Vibrant uh, You streaming event tonight, actually, at the co-op. So it's from okay. 5.30 to 6.30, you know, right in town here. So everyone's welcome to come. It's free of charge. We'll have some uh, some chips, some non-alcoholic drinks. We got <laughs> snacks. So. Yeah, yeah, no alcoholic drinks, unfortunately, <laughs> but snacks, soda, water. It's like Bo mentioned, it's a free event. You don't have to be a Vibrant customer. You don't have to sign up for Vibrant. You don't have to be a member of the co-op. If you're curious about streaming video, you wonder, why would I want to stream? Is it better for me? I don't know how to use it. You know, we have a couple TVs set up. We train people how to use it. We show them stuff that we like to do on it. It's a really great event. We usually have a lot of people show up, and it's, it's really, really popular. Yeah, and you can also visit our website. If you have questions on you know anything Vibrant related, Related. That's vibrantbroadband.com. Yep, and then we also want to mention we have a, a really great promotion right now. Um, if you are have Vibrant or you're going to refer to a friend or family member, no, normally we have a $25 credit that we give to people for referring. That's still going on. But from now until the end of the year, for anyone that gets referred, you'll get entered into a drawing to win a 50-inch Roku TV. It's a great TV, brand new. So if you never, there's never a better time to refer someone to Vibrant. So Yeah, and you can always follow us on our Facebook page. Uh, you can search Vibrant Broadband. We'll have these uh, these episodes um, coming on the following day. So if you miss it, you just want to rewatch it. That's the the place where you can go. You can uh, you know mention that to friends and family that also would maybe interested in learning a little bit more. Yeah, or so you can listen Wednesdays at yeah. ten thirty. Wednesdays exactly. every Wednesday at ten thirty. We'll right be here, here right here with you, Andy. I mean, yeah. geez, why why would you want to do anything else? <laughs> <laughs> and then you could rewatch it. Oh just yeah, to see who was. You Recap. know, maybe who said this and who said that. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Make sure you didn't miss anything. <laughs> <laughs> See our beautiful faces on the uh, video. Well, okay. I wasn't going to go there. <laughs> Let's not go that far. Oh, ouch. <laughs> ouch. Yeah. We're, I got a face made for radio. That's what uh, I've been told. Well, so. I've been doing that for years. So. <laughs> well, thanks, Randy. Thanks, KLFD. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, I'm Nathan Johnson. And I'm Bo Johnson. And we still aren't brothers. Yeah, pending results, but we're still not We're brothers that we know of. (laughs) Tune in next Wednesday at 1030 on KLFD for another Vibrant U Live. Vibrant Broadband. It's... Uh, It's not...